Hello, School Transportation Nation. want to welcome you to the podcast. It's brought to you by TransFinder, the leader in school bus routing software. I see bus, the next generation can change everything. And by Propane, the energy for everyone. I am Tony Corbin, the publisher and president of School Transportation News. Excited to be here with Mr. Ryan Gray. Always excellent to see you, Ryan, and hear you. Yes, Tony, uh, seeing Lonnie out there in Oklahoma City was great. Uh, and like many folks, uh, she and her husband, David Harden, you might know David Harden from Trans Air, uh, they were affected by uh, both hurricanes that, that swept through Florida recently. Uh, we'll get an update from her on uh, the impacts from Milton, but I know when Helene came through, there was sp- quite a bit of flooding at their condo. Uh, they are living there south of Tampa, uh, Delray Beach, I believe, uh, on the Florida coast. So a lot of cleanup, but it was great to see, uh, see Lonnie. And, of course, always been a fix- fixture at STN Expo West out in Reno. So it'll be great to catch up with her disabilities. And, and transporting those students uh, always has been so near and dear to her heart. Well, Helene was the first hurricane that really did a lot of flooding with the hurricane that came through. Uh, We, of course, live right on the Gulf, and there was four feet of water inside buildings, houses. I only have about two friends that their houses weren't affected. We, of course, lost our truck and our golf cart, but that's nothing compared to the other people. But the lives, we didn't lose any lives. I feel so bad for our friends in Asheville and the other areas when it keeps going but on the roads when you drive down the roads here everything is out in front of the houses it was still out there for Milton and I can't figure out why it didn't blow away other than it was so heavily sopped with water and it will be six months maybe before we even see a little bit of normalcy if you get inland there's a lot of normalcy but here they have tankers our governor's given away 10 gallons of free gas because of the port situation when it didn't come in when they needed it um you still see all the wonderful heroes the linemen that are getting the power back on we have people without power people that are being asked to leave their homes now because their insulation is wet and their ceilings are falling in it's too dangerous to live at home so yeah that's how it's going but i'm looking forward to tsd We'll have a good time there.